we begin our story, let's look at our cast of characters, shall we? First, here's Hoppity Hooper, our hero. Hiya, hero worshippers! Next in line is Fillmore, the strongest bear in captivity. The captivity, Wisconsin, that is. And last but not least is Waldo Wigglesworth. He too is famous. True, true. Waldo's well-known features look down from the walls of post offices and police stations all over the country. That's him, officer. That's the one. I'd know that foxy look anywhere. After him. Well, lads, here we go again. Into the truck. There you go, honest Waldo. Quick, Casimir, get the secret weapon. A secret weapon? It's an inflatable Waldo. An inflatable Waldo? Yeah, a balloon shaped just like Waldo. A balloon shaped... Will you stop repeating the dialogue and pull the lever? Uh, okay. Quick, toss it out. There he is, standing by the side of the road. Careful, boys, he's tricky. He looks dizzy, Captain. He did it that, for a strong breeze began to blow the Waldo balloon along the road. He's making a run for it. Stop! Stop or I'll shoot! Gee, I only tried to wing him. He got him on the rise, Gee. I always heard Wigglesworth was full of hot air, but this is ridiculous. Meanwhile, our friends, safe at last, had stopped to let their truck cool off. Gee, Uncle Waldo, why was that man so mad at you? Just because I sold him a thousand gallons of pure, sparkling well water. Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, it was supposed to be an oil well. Oh. Just a slight misunderstanding, Hopper dear. Oh, how long must I be persecuted by the millions of the law? Well, as a fellow says, if you can't like them, join them. Hmm? What was that? I said if you can't like them, join them. Uh, what does that mean, Hoppity? I don't know, Fillmore. It's just what the fellow says. But of course, <laughs> Hoppity, that's the way to keep on the right side of the law. We'll become detectives ourselves. You mean like on television? Exactly. We'll be private eyes. I can't be a private eye, Waldo. How come? I got two stripes. I gotta be a corporal eye. But Waldo insisted, and in just a few days' time, their medicine show truck had been turned into a traveling detective agency. Uh, the I Spy Detective Agency. Waldo Wigglesworth, Chief Snoop. And here comes our first client. <laughs> Get ready, Alfredo. <laughs> Welcome, sir. What can we do for you? I just lost my bowling ball. Can you find it? Lost articles? <laughs> Kindly step into our Swami's parlor. Swami? Uh, yeah, that's me. <sighs> the Swami is in a trance. Uh, I could tell. Mm -hmm. Swami, do you see this gentleman's lost bowling ball? Uh, yes, yes. I see it before me now. You do? Where is it? Right here. Oh, my God, that's remarkable. Here, this is for finding it so quickly. Oh, thank you. And this is for taking it in the first place. <laughs> Confounded, Beaufort, I told you to pick up a crystal ball. The uh, crystal balls are harder to pick up, Waldo. You mean they're scarce? Uh, no, I mean they don't have them little holes in them for your fingers. Hey, look, here comes another customer. But this customer's request wasn't going to be as easy to fill as the first. Is this the I Spy Detective Agency? At your service, sir. I spy. We never sleep. Uh, we may doze off from time to time, but... My name is Badly Bent, with a hyphen. Gee, that's too bad. And I want you to find the Lost Duchess of Dashit Hall. The, the Lost Duchess of Dashit Hall? You lost a duchess? Seems a bit careless, somehow. But at that moment, a sinister figure outside lobbed a large, round object at the window. An object with a fuse attached to it. And it isn't a crystal ball or a bowling ball, either. Don't miss our next episode. The lowdown on the blow-up, or... Hallelujah, I'm a bum. Well, here we go, kid. Back to the land of situation comedy. And all the news that's fit to see. Well, at Hoppity's suggestion, Waldo has joined the forces of law and order by organizing the I Spy Detective Agency. And already they've got a big case. I want you chaps to find the lost duchess of Dashit Hall. Duchesses are our specialty. They are? 
But at that moment, a mysterious figure tossed a large bomb with a sputtering fuse right at the window of the truck. Go, oh, let's get out of here! No, no, we mustn't panic. Let's remain calm. But, but, but... Now, the thing to do with bombs is to put them into a bucket of water, right? Right you are, old bean. Quick, Desmond, get a bucket. Okay, Waldo. Uh, let's see, now, where did I put that bucket? Hurry, few more! Uh, let's see, is it in here? Uh, no, that's the ironing board. We gotta put out the fuels. Couldn't we use something besides a bucket? It really isn't correct, old boy. Uh, here's the bucket. Now fill it with water. Uh, Waldo, you know we don't have running water in the truck. There's a little stream just down the hill. Uh, right. <laughs> you, you, you see, Hoppity, you, you've got to be, be, be calm about these things. But that fuse is getting mighty short. Uh, here you are, Waldo. Wait a minute. That bucket's empty. I wonder why. I think this is why. No bottom. Oh, my goodness. Now what? Isn't that infuriating? Things like this never happened to James Bond. Hey, I've got an idea. Uh, yes, yes. Why don't we just do this? Hey, hey, that's a good idea. Let's do that. He's already done it, Egbert. Oh, yeah. Now, why would anybody want to toss a bomb into here? Well, it certainly helped the plot. And besides that. Uh, but who did it? Well, gentlemen, you certainly have a choice. These criminals are all after the missing Duchess. They were just trying to frighten you off the case. Uh, they did a pretty good job, too. Come on, Fillmore, be a man. Actually, you know, I'm more of a bear. All right, now tell us about the Duchess. How tall is she? She's 12 feet tall. 12 feet tall? Gee, that's twice as tall as Fillmore. Then I'm big for my age. Oh, that reminds me. How old is she? 120. Well, I'll say this. She'll certainly stand out in a crowd. But while Waldo was taking notes a short distance away, a mean-looking band of cutthroats and thugs were listening to the leader of their gang, Lime Juice Lou. Well, it seems that Froggy type and his friends are out to find the lost Duchess. All those in favor of chastising him say I. I. Opposed? No. Why do you vote no, Muggsy? On account I don't know what uh, chastising means. Well, chastising means... And this. And this. Now, do you know what chastising means? Uh, I, I, I think I, I get the general idea. Now, let's see if I've got the picture. The Duchess is 12 feet tall, 120 years old, and was last seen wearing a hoop skirt and a powdered wig. What was she doing in America, Mr. Badly Bill? She was on loan from Great Britain. What? It's simple, Hoppity. We send them our old missiles, and they send us their old duchesses. Oh. So our boys set out to find the lost Duchess of Dashett Hall. First, they searched all the beauty parlors. <laughs> They checked all the ladies' Turkish baths. They even kept track of all the bargain sales. I tell you, I saw this hat first. No, you didn't, dearie. I saw it first. Ladies, I was wearing it when I came in. You came out of this. Well, Mr. Badly Bent, we tried anyway. Gee, we should have been able to spot a 120-year-old lady who's 12 feet tall. Yeah, uh, with a hoop skirt and a powdered wig. And don't forget the big gold frame. What, what gold frame? frame? The frame around the picture. Wait a minute, you mean the lost Duchess of Dashett Hall is a picture? Well, she certainly is. And there she goes now. She's being spirited away by Lime Juice Louie and his gang. Perhaps he's right. We'll find out next time in Portrait of a Thief or Lime Juice Louie Gets Framed. Well, in our last episode, we finally met the lost Duchess of Dashett Hall. She was indeed 12 feet tall, 120 years old, and surrounded by a solid gold frame. For the lost Duchess was really an enormous full-length oil painting worth a fortune. And right now, she's in possession of Lime Juice Louie and his band of cutthroats. That's us. Heavens, that was Lime Juice Louie and his band of cutthroats. Throat. I heard the man. But perhaps the audience didn't. Well, let's get after him. The charge. <laughs> hey, Louie, what's the idea driving right by those guys? Now they're chasing us. Correct. They're chasing us right into a trap. Uh, what kind of trap, boss? Observe closely. Oh, 
Oh, frip frap. A detour. Well, we can't stop now. Drive on, Stanislav. Uh, my name is... Well, cha-cha, guts. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later, fellas. Oh, I'm afraid not, Muggsy. How come? Take a deco at that. Oh, horrors. Our friends have been decoyed into driving onto a set of railroad tracks. Now, let's see. This detour ought to take us by way of Mark Chunk and Kennebunkport. Uh, it's sure a smooth road for a detour, Waldo. What was that? Uh, just a grade crossing. The grade crossing? Yike! We're on the railroad track. Quick, turn the wheel, Eustace. I, I, I can't, Waldo. We fit too tight. Gee, what do we do if a train comes along? We'd better decide in a hurry, chap. Here comes one now. Step on it, Bunthong. The name is Fillmore. It's going to be mud if you don't beat that train. Go! And Fillmore pushed the gas pedal to the floorboard. Slowly, the truck pulled ahead of the speeding train. Something you don't see every day, Chauncey. What's that, Edgar? A truck on a railroad track being chased by a train. Oh, I don't know, Edgar. Happens all the time on the Bullwinkle Show. True. We're winning, Uncle Walter. We're pulling ahead of the train. But just then... Oh, what is it, Fillmore? I don't know, Professor. I don't look. We're running out of gas. And the train's gaining on us. Well, there's only one thing to do. I want to jump for it. And leave us to our fate? What kind of a hero are you? A smart one. You see that switch up ahead there? Uh, yeah. I'm going to jump for it. What have you missed? You'll just have to change the name of this program to the Waldo Wigglesworth Show. Uh, good luck, Hoppity. The Waldo Wigglesworth Show. Hoppity climbed out onto the running board, crouched, judged the distance, and at precisely the right instant... Yes, the train was switched onto another track and roared out of sight while Waldo's truck coasted safely to a stop. Everybody okay? Hoppity, my lad! You've saved our lives! You're a hero! Give him a fanfare, Beauregard! Ha-ha! Uh, shucks, that was nothing. There's only one thing that puzzles me, though. Uh, what's that? I wonder where that train is going to wind up. <laughs> I'll tell you where. Right in the middle of another program entirely. Well, all well as well, I guess. What do you mean, M? You haven't found the lost Duchess yet. Gee, I almost forgot. And here's your chance, gentlemen, for here she comes now. Yes, far down the road, Lime Juice Louie's car was hurtling toward them. Gee, they'll have to go under that bridge, Uncle Waldo. Hoppity, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I think so. No, Hoppity, it's too dangerous. I forbid it. I put my foot down. <laughs> What's that for? Yeah, you put your foot down in the wrong place. Well, what dangerous scheme does our hero have in mind? We'll find out next time in What's Cooking or Hoppity's Plots and Plans. Our boys are hot on the trail of the lost Duchess of Dashett Hall, a valuable painting stolen by Lime Juice Louie and his gang. Now, Louie's car is approaching an overpass on which our friends are waiting. No, I won't let you do it, Hoppity. Uh, do what, Waldo? When that car goes under the bridge, I'm going to swing down and grab the painting. But that's dangerous. But we'll save the painting. It's foolhardy. Uh, we're out with those crooks. It's out of the question. We'll get a reward. Let's go. So, when Louis' car went under the bridge... Hi, what happened? We've been on Froggle, that's what. You did it, Hopper. Okay, fellas, pull me up. <coughs> but the painting's too heavy. We can't lift you both up. They drop it, Hoppity. No, sir. Now that we've got it, we're not going to let go of it. Maybe Mr. Badly Bent could help us, Egbert. Uh, yeah, I'll go ask him. Ouch! Oh, Mr. Badly Bent! Oh, go! What is it, Fillmore? Uh, never mind. Meanwhile, the gang had turned their car around and were heading toward our hero. Hi, they ain't here. True, the only person near the bridge was a sign painter who was lettering a billboard. 
They must have snuck off on a side road, Louie. Well, on with the chase. Yikes, tally and all that rot. Did it work, Hoppity? Like a charm, Uncle Waldo. Quick, into the truck. And on to Dashert Hall. And a short time later, our friends entered Dashert Hall, ancestral home of the Earl of Cloves. There you are, sir. The last Duchess returns. I say, chaps, that's splendid. Now, let me just get rid of that dreadful painting. You didn't want the picture? Of course not, little green one. I wanted the frame. It's solid gold, you know. Oh, boy. What about the reward? Oh, yes, of course. Tell you what, you can have the picture. Thanks for nothing. Uh, he ain't exactly a heavy tipper, is he? Well, anyway, we've got this keen big picture. Oi, chaps, I'm from the Manchester Guardian. Like to take your picture for the morning edition. Why, certainly, young man. The name is Wigglesworth, W-I-G. Doesn't he sound familiar to you? Uh, yeah, I think it's really Alfred Hitchcock. No, but I've heard that voice somewhere. Now, I'd like you to pose with your hands up in the air, please. Our hands in the air? Why? This is why. It's Lime Juice Louie. Oh, uh, what do you say, Hoppity? Shall we jump him? No, I think we ought to put our hands in the air. Uh, he can't get all of us. Well, Hoppity's right, Fillmore. Put your hands up. Well, that takes care of Lime Juice Louie. It also takes care of the Lost Duchess. So what are we going to do with a painting with a big hole in it? Leave it to Uncle Waldo, I guess. Mm hmm Look. Yes, Waldo was getting an idea. And so now, if you happen to be in Foggy Bog, Wisconsin, any Saturday afternoon, drop by the fairgrounds and you'll hear... Step right up, folks. Three sponges for a dime. Dump the Duchess and win a prize. Right this way. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is most humiliating, Hoppity. You mean getting hit with sponges, Louie? No. Working at an honest job. It just ain't my nature. And as the sun sinks slowly behind our soggy scenery, we take leave of our friends once more. With saddened hearts and tear-filled eyes, we... Now, wait a minute. We're coming back again with another story. Sure, we'll be back before you can say toy boat three times real fast. Uh, toy boat, toy boy, to to ooh. Well, watch for the further adventures of Hoppity Hooper. Uh, toy boat. Tordo boy, 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 bo